So underway in the 400 freestyle for women. It's a terrific start from Lee and Neal out in lane one. In the, uh, the maroon cap, not so good for Matty Goff. Next to them is Jamie Perkins, the youngster, the 16-year-old. Kitmus stroking well, starting to take control already in lane four. Lani Palace is going with her in the white cap in five. Melbourton in six, Katrina Lee in seven, and Fritzinger in eight. Lani Palace had an amazing start out in lane five, and we can already see Titmus coming up, turning first at the 50 at a 27.58. Very, very quick through the first 50. it be interesting to see what they do this 100 split in, but you can see out in lane one, Leah Neal going with her as well. And the world record split for the first 50 was 27-7, so she's under that world record after the first 50. Let's see. She did say she wants to go near her best. Up at the top of the pool, as we mentioned, a terrific, terrific start from Leah Neal going stroke for stroke at the moment with Titmus, who's just getting herself in front. Lani Palace has probably worked into second. She has. Absolutely. A great split for that first 157-13. Lani Palace to 58-0-1. Absolutely looking beautiful, Ariane Titmus. That nice balance technique. The stroke rate is up. The legs are nice and high. She's sitting well out of the water. Here we are traveling underwater with her. You can see that top end catch as she just keeps pulling herself up and now starting to really draw away from Lani Pallister in lane five. Hasn't really tapered for this, but she's under the world record pace at the moment at the 150. That's right. She's moving through beautifully in a 126.83. That's absolutely fine. She's got to go 157 in this first 200. This world record is seriously under threat here, Harks. Lani Palliser not that far away. Leah Neal doing a good job still out in lane one. Next to Lani on the other side of the Kia Melbourne. And we know that she's not well. We know that she hasn't qualified either for these worlds, Kia Melbourne. And she was a finalist in the 800 in Tokyo last year. Finished sixth. But let's have a look at this split. She's in front of the world record again. Absolutely. She is flying under 157. 156.99 to go through the China meter mark. That's well under Ledecky's 157.1, where she broke the world record back in 2016. We know Titmus for her back end, not the front end. So we thought she might be behind. But she's in front of that world record right now. It came into this meet. Without a real taper, swam a fantastic 100 freestyle. So we know that she's got speed. How much has she got left for the back end at the moment? She's well in front, and she's got almost three quarters of body length in front of that world record line. If she can go through this 300-meter mark around a 257 high, 257, actually 257 mid, the world record is gone tonight. It was 257.62 when Ledecky set that world record. What can she do? She's still well in front of it at the moment. Lani Pallister sitting in second. Leah Neal out in third. But it's all about the race between the Terminator and that red line. Oh, she comes into this second last turn. Absolutely beautiful. 257-37. She's put herself in the perfect position to be able to break this world record. Let's not forget about Lani Pallister. 301.3 in second place. Doing a brilliant swim there as well. Can she break the world record? Only Lorraine Kraft, Ilsa Conrad, Karen Morass and Shane Gilden, Tracy Wickham have held it. Can she hang on? At the moment, she's well in front of that world record line. This, this is the part that Ariane Titmus is known for. It's her last 100. You can see her. She's up the race. She's got the legs up. 327-12. She's got to come back in around a 29 foot, and she's got the world record. Look at her accelerate. The rate's coming up, and the legs are coming up, Harks. Look over your shoulder, Katie Ledecky, because you've got a Terminator on your tail. In fact, you've got a Terminator in front of you. Katie Ledecky's world record is going to go Get right there. here. Come on, let's go, Ariane. Ariane Titmus is hanging on. Can she get there? The world record's catching her. Come on, Ariane. Get there. Come on, go. She's yes. got it. World record for Ariane Titmus. Tanya Ledecky's oh. world record has been terminated here tonight. Oh. And Lani Pallister, what a swim from her in 402-1. A cracking swim, but a new world record to Ariane Titmus. What a performance. We've just seen the first and second greatest Australians of all time with Ariane Titmus and Lani Pallister in that women's 400-meter freestyle. 356-40.